Hello. Silkworms in play school today. See, here they are. Busily eating. Munch, munch, munch. See? Eating mulberry leaves. Hello. More fresh mulberry leaves for these very hungry silkworms mm. to eat. There. And look, some silkworm eggs. Eggs that will hatch into silkworms, see? Just like this one. Come on, little silkworm. Still eating or looking for somewhere to eat. Munch, munch, munch. Greyish, wriggly body. And little legs. And a wrinkly head. <laughs> Back you go. Here's a silkworm cocoon. Hmm. A soft cocoon made from silk. Soft and fluffy. Silk spun from... The silkworms. Silk wrapped round and round to make a cocoon. Mm -hmm. But first, the silkworms have to eat lots and lots of leaves to get big and strong. Munch, munch, munch. Munch, 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 munch. Another silkworm. Ah, come on. <laughs> I'm a silkworm, I'm a silkworm. See me crawl. See me crawl. I like to eat leaves. I like to eat leaves. Munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. What else do silkworms do? How about spinning a cocoon? I'm a silkworm. I'm a silkworm. I can spin. I can spin lots and lots of silk, lots and lots of silk. Spin, 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 spin. And then, out of a silky cocoon comes a moth flying around. I'm a moth, I'm a moth. I can fly, I can fly. Round and round the room, round and round the room. Fly, 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 fly. Did you know a silkworm goes into a cocoon and then comes out as a moth? We've been talking about creatures like silkworms, caterpillars and moths every day this week. I wonder what creatures in the bug box calendar today? I wonder what is inside the box. Here is a box. Open the lid. I wonder whatever inside is hid. Oh, it's a cockroach, without any doubt. Open the lid and let it come out. A cockroach. La cucaracha. But wait, there's something in the lid of this box. It's the name of today. It's Friday. Friday today. A great day for cockroaches everywhere to get up and dance. Come on, let's have a cucaracha dance. And I'll shake these maracas that make a noise like this. Come on, shake it, cucarachas. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Let's all dance across the floor. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Let's all shake a little more. Keep shaking. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Let's all dance across the floor. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Let's all shake a little more.
Come on, Kukaracha. We'll put you back in your bug box. More boxes. Food boxes. Not filled with bugs, but with food for a picnic. Some chopped vegetables in this box. Some pita bread and cheese sandwiches in this box. Dried fruit in here. And water to drink. Making something else for the picnic, we'll use this strip of celery here. And fill it up with soft cream cheese. Yum. Spread it along. A little bit more down here. This there. There. And now, sultanas. Sprinkle them on. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Get them all in. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. A few more down there. Oop. There. You know what some people call this? Bugs on a log. Sultana bugs on a cream cheese celery log. We'll cut it a bit smaller. So it will fit into this box. In they go. some fruit for the picnic. Apples. Mandarins. Some bananas. A bunch of bananas. Do you like peeling and eating a banana? <clears throat> More bananas. One, two, three finger bananas. Here's a bunch of bananas, ripe and ready to eat. There are three bananas in this bunch. Choose one and eat it for lunch. <gasps> How many bananas are left? One, two, but not for long. Here's a bunch of bananas ripe and ready to eat. There are two bananas in this bunch. Choose one and eat it for lunch. Mm. Oh, only one banana left now. Here's a little banana, ripe and ready to eat. There is only one banana in this bunch. Choose it and eat it for lunch. Oh. Mm. Now everything is ready for the picnic. There's another picnic in the story today. What do we do before the story? Tick tock, look at the clock. What's the time on the train clock today? The long hand is pointing straight up, so it's something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing to the six. So it's six o'clock on the train clock. Here comes the train, pulling up at the station. And on the back of the train, a picnic basket and a picnic rug and some more picnic food. The story today is called The Perfect Picnic Spot. And here are Big Ted, Morris and Little Ted, three hungry bears, ready for a picnic. But first, they have to find the perfect picnic spot. So off they go. 
three hungry bears. Off they trot, looking for the perfect picnic spot. Hmm. Over here, said Big Ted. Morris replied, why not? And little Ted piped up, this is just the right spot. So, the three hungry bears spread their picnic rug. <sighs> and took out their delicious picnic food. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> and got ready to eat. <laughs> when... But what's that? It's me, Buzzing Fly. Is oh. that a picnic I see? Oh, what's for lunch, bears? I love picnics. Mm, but the bears did not love Buzzing Flies. Oh, this is no good at all, said Big Ted. We'd better find another place to have a picnic, said Morris. Shoo, Fly, shoo! Bzz, buzzy, bye-bye. Oh. So, the three bears packed up their delicious picnic food. And their... Oh, their rug. And set off to find the perfect picnic spot away from buzzing flies. Three hungry bears. Off they trot, looking for the perfect picnic spot. Hmm. Over here, said Big Ted. Morris replied, why not? Little Ted piped up, this is just the right spot. So the three hungry bears spread their picnic rug. This is perfect. And took out their delicious oof, picnic food. Mm. And got ready to eat. When? What's that? Bleep, bleep, it's me, Noisy Cicada. <laughs> Have you ever had lunch with a noisy cicada? Bleep, bleep. Ooh, picnic time. Hooray, I love picnics. Bleep, bleep. But the bears did not love noisy cicadas. Oh, no, this won't do at all. We better find another picnic spot. Shoo, cicada, shoo! Bleep, 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 bleep. Noisy cicadas. So, the bears, hungrier than ever, packed up their delicious picnic food and their picnic rug and set off to find the perfect, perfect picnic spot. Come on, bears. Three hungry bears. Off they trot, looking for the perfect picnic spot. Over here, said Big Ted. Morris replied, oh, why not? <gasps> Little Ted piped up, this is just the right spot. So, they spread out their picnic rug. This is perfect, it's perfect. And got their delicious picnic food out. And settled back. Ready, ready to eat. The ants go marching one by one. Oh no, what's that? Hurrah, hurrah! Is that a picnic I see before me? I just love picnics. <laughs> but the bears did not love hungry ants. <sighs> oh me, oh my. Is there no such thing as the perfect picnic spot? Probably not. <laughs> well, maybe we could share our food with just one ant, even though he is rather big. Good idea. Come and get it, ant. <sighs> You're too kind, thank you. <laughs> so the three hungry bears finally found their perfect picnic spot and shared their delicious picnic lunch with the giant ant. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> Come on, ants, let's go marching. Mm, all right. One ant, 
two ants. You marching? The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah! The ants went marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah! The ants went marching two by two, the little one stopped to do up a shoe. And they all went marching Home to get out of the rain Boom, boom Home to get out of the rain Keep marching One, two Three marching ants This time <laughs> You ready? <laughs> the ants went marching three by three Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants went marching three by three Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants went marching three by three. The little one stopped to climb up a tree. And they all went marching. Home to get out of the rain, boom, boom. Home to get out of the rain, boom, boom. Home to get out of the rain, boom, boom. Home to get out of the rain. Some other insects here. You might have seen some of these insects outside. Here's a yellow bee with black stripes and little wings and a green grasshopper with long green legs for hopping. And over here, a red ladybird with lots of black spots. The last picture, a colourful dragonfly. Going to use these pictures for a game. A matching game. Each of these insects has a head and a body. A bee's head and a bee's body. Hmm. So we'll put them in a pile. Okay. Heads here. Bodies and over there. Bodies here. Yeah. And we'll mix them up. We'll see if we can match the right head with the right body. Okay. First. Now, a dragonfly's head and a body. There. Does that look right? I don't think so. A dragonfly head with a black and yellow bee's body. Hmm. Must be a dragon bee. Pretty silly. Mm, <laughs> that's not a match. Mm. We'll try another body. I wonder which body will match the dragonfly's head. Hmm. Yeah. Is that a match? I think it is. It's a dragonfly with one, two, three, four wings. My turn. Head first. Mm. The bee. Now, let's find a matching body. Try this one. Doesn't look quite right. A bee's head mm. with a red and black ladybird's body. Must be a bee bird? I've never seen one of those before. Let's uh, try this black and yellow bee's body. Yes! Bee's head and a bee's body. It's a match. My turn again. A ladybird's head. Mm, now, find a body. What about this green grasshopper's body? Oh, that's a lady hopper. You ever seen a lady hopper? No match. Needs a red and black ladybird's body. And here it is, a ladybird. It's a match. There's only one head and one body left. This will be easy. A grasshopper's head and, ta-da, a green grasshopper's body. It's a match. Hooray! <laughs> a colourful dragonfly, a yellow and black buzzing bee, a red and black spotted ladybird and a green grasshopper. <laughs> Lots of different creatures.
We're going to see someone making a creature now through the windows. Wonder which window it'll be. There goes the diamond window. And the round window. Here comes the arch window. And now the square. And through we go. My name is Marion, and I use a screen to print pictures on cotton fabric. Pull the cotton tight. My picture comes on two pieces of paper. I think I'll print this one first. Put the screen on top and spoon some black paint into the screen. I use this rubber squeegee to push the paint through the screen. Pull it down. Push it back. Pull it down again. That looks good. Can you guess what the picture will be? Now for the other piece of paper. Put the clean screen on top. I'm using red paint this time. Pull down. Push back and pull down again. Let's see if it worked. Ah, yes. Now to print the rest. Pull. Push. Pull. Look at that. A row of beautiful tortoises. A screen printed red and black tortoise. Going to use these blots to print some patterns onto this piece of silk. Stripes of string for a stripy print into the blue paint. Onto the silk. Stripe, 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 stripe. Hmm, some more paint. Stripe. Stripe, 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 stripe. Lots of stripes. And squiggles this time. Some red squiggles into the paint. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. <laughs> One more pattern, a swirl, a yellow swirl. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Swirly, swirly, swirl. Oh, put it over here, there. Lots of stripes and swirls and squiggles on the silk. Stripes, 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 more stripes here. Stripe up high and stripe down low. You ready? Can you stripe, can you stripe, can you stripe away? Can you stripe, can you stripe on this stripey day? Can you stripe up high? Stripe, 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 stripe. 
Can you stripe down low? Stripe, stripe, stripe. Stripe, 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 and away we go. Stripes everywhere. What about swirls this time? Can you swirl too? Can you swirl? Can you swirl? Can you swirl away? Can you swirl? Can you swirl on this swirly day? Can you swirl up high? Can you swirl down low? Swirl, swirl, swirl. Swirl, 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 and away we go. Swirl, swirl. You must be hungry after all that swirling. Starving. Time for a picnic. Oh, good idea. A blanket. There we go. Care for a bug and a log. Oh, I'd love one. Thank you. Time for us to go now. Maybe you could have a picnic. Or swirl around. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.